Do you have T-Mobile Home Internet, Small Business Internet, or Business Internet Unlimited? And do you use more than 1.2 terabytes of data a month? Well, T-Mobile just puts you into the slow lane. Hi, I'm Andy with Mobile Internet Resource Center, and today we've got some news on T-Mobile Home Internet as well as the related business plans on the business side. That is Small Business Internet as well as the Business Internet Unlimited plans. This has to do with uh, T-Mobile's prioritization and network management policies. Specifically, what T-Mobile is doing is they're expanding uh, policy changes they made back in January uh, that they originally made for new customers who are signing up and they've now expanded uh, that policy to all customers who are on these plans. Now back in January, uh, T-Mobile made some changes including a price increase from a base price of $50 a month to $60 a month uh, for these plans. And one of the other changes they made is they instituted a new deprioritization threshold of 1.2 terabytes in a billing cycle. And what that meant is that once a customer crossed 1.2 terabytes of data usage in a billing cycle, they got lower uh, priority on the network. In fact, they went to dead last in priority on the network. Um, and that only applied to new customers who signed up after January 18th, 2024. This new policy, however, has expanded that not just to new customers, but all legacy customers. Uh, basically, every plan, uh, every T-Mobile Home Internet, Small Business Internet, and Business Internet Unlimited plan. So it's now a universal fair use policy by T-Mobile. This has gone into effect uh, from what we know as of April 10th, rather, 2024, and uh, it is currently active and in force. Now, that may sound a little bit uh, scary, but it's important to realize that 1.2 terabytes of data is quite a lot of data in a month, and most customers do not use that much data in a month on one cellular data plan, especially in our audience of mobile users who live, work, and travel in RVs, vans, and boats. Um, so if you don't use that much data in a month, then this uh, change is really not going to affect you at all. If you are one of the handful of users that do use uh, more than 1.2 terabytes of data in a month, then once you do pass that, you do get deprioritized. And it's important to note that that is not a hard throttle. You don't get uh, slowed down by a specific amount. Uh, the way the networks work is it's a a prioritization system. So even though you are last uh, in priority on the network, if the network is not congested, then it's not a big deal. You still get good speeds. You uh, are not much affected. If the tower you're connected to is not very crowded, it's not going to impact you very much. Where it starts to impact you is when the tower gets congested. Then you see slowdowns because everybody else on the network is going to have a higher priority than you. And then if the tower gets heavily congested, you will be severely impacted and you could see speeds that are extremely slow to almost unusable if you are last in priority. So that is uh, how it's going to impact you uh, if you do cross that 1.2 terabyte threshold. Now, T-Mobile's already sent out notifications to customers and they say that they are going to send out uh, warnings when customers approach that threshold and then another notification once they reach it to let customers know that they uh, have reached it and that they're uh, going to be at lower priority. So one of the unfortunate aspects of this is T-Mobile has been very bad about updating these new terms on its website to keep customers informed. So what's happened is that T-Mobile has sent out notifications to customers uh, telling them that they are now subject to this new policy and it's included a link to T-Mobile's open internet uh, policy on its website. 
but that document on T-Mobile's website has not been updated with these new terms. Uh, as of April 18th, 2024, which is when we're filming this video, that document has not been updated and still reflects uh, the uh, terms that were from January, and it still states that only customers who sign up after January 18th, 2024 are subject to the 1.2 terabyte threshold. So that's caused a lot of confusion with customers who are on older plans who get this notification that they're subject to this new policy. They click over to the official documentation and the official documentation says it only affects new customers and they don't know which one is correct. Well, we've confirmed with T-Mobile that the uh, policy is in effect, it is in place. We don't know why T-Mobile hasn't bothered to update uh, its official open internet page. We also don't know why T-Mobile hasn't uh, updated the terms of service on uh, people's uh, plan uh, terms on the account portals. Um, it's really inexcusable that they haven't uh, done that yet. But we do know that this uh, new policy is in effect, and um, hopefully they do get that updated soon. So that is it for today on uh, T-Mobile Home Internet. We'd like to hear from you, especially is this going to affect you? Are you a user that has one of these plans that uh, uses more than 1.2 terabytes of data a month? And if so, leave us a comment before, and we'd really like to hear if you do use that much data, what are you using your data on? And do you think uh, this uh, policy is going to affect you? Tell us how much data you use as well. And if you like this content, please uh, leave us a like and uh, subscribe. And we also have a companion article that goes uh, with this that goes into a little bit more detail about the history of these plans, as well as the terms of service uh, and goes into a little bit more specific detail, has links to uh, 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 all about the home internet, small business internet, and the business uh, internet unlimited plans if you want more information on those. We have those on our website. We consider all three of these plans to be top pick plans for our audience of RVers, cruisers, and boaters. Um, so we appreciate you watching. We hope you stay connected, and we'll see you next time. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.